So I'm still trying to rack my brain around how to feature the stuff in this snapshot. If you are a long time subscriber, I used to do a lot of technical things and try to explain things very technically, but I've long drifted away from that since then because I want my channel to be more accessible. But a lot of the changes in this snapshot are technical. We do now have a slash damage command, so we can now kill ourselves with a bunch of different things like bad respawn points, intentional game design, dry out, which was the dehydration thing. People thought that we could get thirsty. <laughs> Thirst. Uh, we've got generic, which is just died, mob attack, no aggro. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. We don't have any selectors here. Unattributed fireball. Burn to death. So we can now apply damage directly to the player without using things like slash kill and slash effect give instant damage. Yes, this came from Bedrock Edition. We know. That's not really that technical. I have to admit, some of the most intriguing updates that are released in Minecraft are often inaccessible to the public because they are very technical, esoteric, until there's someone out there who can demonstrate to you guys just how cool it is. That's why I'm here. But do bear with me. I'm going to give myself a honey block right here, and I'm going to place it right in front of me. There we go. Very simple block. And now what I'm going to do is summon a new entity type in Minecraft called block display. It's like an item frame, but for blocks. And now I can walk through this block because it's not a block, it's an entity. It's like a mob. And now I'm going to change this block in ways that have never been done before. First of all, command block. Just going to place it over here so you can see what I'm doing. First, what I'm going to do is just move it up like that, and then back down to its original position, like that. Then I can move it left and right, back and forth, you know, all the basic stuff. Now I can also do something crazy like this. I can blow it up and even more to scales that have never been seen in vanilla Minecraft. This is the same honey block that I placed over there, but is now gigantic. I have done so many things with this already. You might think, oh, blocks just slowly getting bigger. No, it's going to get even bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> There's almost no end to this. This is so exciting, honestly. Now, this is all possible through transformation matrices and interpolation. There used to be hard and fast limits to model sizes and displays in Minecraft. Now, that's all gone. I'm going to fly inside it. If you want to really see. Oh, it's gone. It still has rendering problems, and that's just because Minecraft needs to know that you're still rendering the actual thing. But to demonstrate the real power of this, here's a tiny little Steve. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to spin him out of control. And now I'm going to spin him out of control. Oh, I didn't mean for that. Give him some depth. He's still inside out. Let's stretch him out properly, like this. There we go, make him normal again. Cool, scale him back to normal. Nice. And there we go, we have Steve, perfect. And here's another thing, that's fairly primitive that I did. So here's a block, here's another block that falls down, another block that falls down, another block that falls down, and another block that falls down. Physics. It looks pretty bad, I know. <laughs> this one's much better by Padbox. They're a Minecraft modder and probably applied actual mathematical calculations to this, which you can actually do and achieve incredible things. And here's another one by Data Nagasi, which is just a sticky piston, but not actually a sticky piston. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys, including me, are just waiting for archaeology, but I certainly cannot pass up an opportunity for stuff like this. There we go.